Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Anoji and welcome back to the video. Today we are going to take a sneak peek at the area mode in the future update. Now the game developer has actually mentioned this a while ago with a plain updated future layout. This layout was created by Masters. Now if you don't know who is Masters, he's actually the other has got community moderator beside myself. He has been working on several projects along with his got team to improve the community gaming experience as well as providing more assets to the in-game resources like the game information category and overall boss command. It is pretty amazing overall and you guys should totally check out all the command that he has been working on. Alright, on to the main topic. There are several modes that will be included in the future updates such as the story mode which include quest, teleporting, cheese bay dungeon system and many many more. Arcane mode which is the current mode that we are playing right now along with Hadron Secret Dungeon. Now onto the arena modes. This mode allows players to fight countless widow enemies and survive as long as possible. But speaking of the arena modes, the game developer also gave us a sneak peek in the developer block channels. Now if you noticed, he actually gave us the first prototype structure of the arena modes a few weeks ago which come along with more detailed stuff that are being rendered and composed for better quality. In addition, I can already imagine how amazing this is going to be based on all the challenges that the arena modes had to offer. Hopefully there may be a leaderboard system available in the future updates which shows how far all the players have survived in the arena modes. Now, deep deeper modes. I'm not entirely sure how deep deeper mode works to be exactly, but based on the descriptions, I do assume it works exactly like the arena modes, but more like a dungeon explosions type of stuff. Now, the last one is probably my favorite because it is PvP mode and offline map creators. Some of these modes are very very interesting, especially the PvP mode. Now the PvP mode is actually a little bit different from players vs players based on the descriptions. If you notice, it refers to Dungeon Keeper vs Hero players. Meaning that one player will play their job as a hero and clear the dungeons, while the other player is who is destined to be a ruler of the dungeons. In addition, this mode is actually supported by the offline map creator modes which allow players to create a custom dungeons that is fully customized to their own desire and upload them online for other players to download. In my opinion, it feels almost exactly like Super Mario Makers with all the level of designing and customizations. I'm not entirely sure how the PvP is going to work out since I don't have much information at the moment, but potentially I would say that it is very quite nice since there may be one player who is extremely skillful in designing the dungeons while the other player who is extremely good at controlling his characters, so we may have a mixture between the boss and the gaming community. But then again, these are the things that we should be looking for for the future update. Now before I end the video for today, I actually turn on the community translations which allow you to contribute and translate the captioning language from English to another language. This way, not only you're helping out the people who does not speak English from the community, but also helping me translating different languages while I'm making videos. Anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. This is Sanuji once again, and I will see you all next time. Laters!